Hey guys, welcome to our tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a way of converting nerves to polygons. This will uh, give you some of the benefits of smooth surface, uh, smooth surfaceness of nerves on your uh, polygons. Now, you can convert nerves to polygons, but you can you will not be able to convert polygons to nerves. Okay. You can't go from polygons to nerves because polygons are actually a lower ordered surface. And uh, bear in mind that you can animate nerves, but you can't animate polygons. You can't bend them like you know. You, you can't. They they've got limitations, so it depends exactly what you're doing. So now um, we've got this. We've got this project that we're working with in uh, I don't know tutorial. 13 or something like that, I can't remember. So, um, to convert these to polygons, actually what you have to do is um, uh, highlight this one, modify, convert, nerves to polygons. Now, click on this little um, triangle here. Now, we're going to go, uh, let's go general. Okay, uh, make sure, this, this is the normal, this is the normal, stuff that Maya has. It is no more settings that Maya has. So what actually this is, the, 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 the type, there's quads and triangles. We've got quads at the moment and uh, the, uh, the, tra the translation method is actually on count. So this, uh, what, act what this actually does is um, to tell my, to tell the, the software that we want count of 20 polygons in here on, the, on this uh, nerves on a copy of our, our nerves, you, you, you get what I mean, guys. So, if we um, say, and again, we can actually ramp it up to whatever we want. So, we'll take it back to 200. I don't like changing things too much, you know. But anyway, we'll take it to 2009, to 209, and cancel it. So, um, what the software actually does is to, is, um, it, tries its best to copy whatever this is to copy it into there but because of our translation is a uh, lower to 209 that makes this is we've got 209 um, boxes in here so that's uh, what the software does as you can see now if we um, if we delete that highlight this one and go back into um, into our conversion uh, nerves to polygon option. If we go back, if we go to triangles, if we go to triangles and do tensilate, we'll have these triangles in here. But this is mainly for, uh, this is uh, not, I don't like it because it's uh, mainly for game engines and stuff like that, unless you, unless you are using Maya for games. Otherwise, uh, yeah, unless you're using Maya for games, but it's not really good in a uh, film and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, let's delete this one and go back to um, yeah. So we've covered that uh, the types, triangles, and and quads. And uh, we've covered count. Count is pretty much ramping up the um, the definition. Now let's go to general. Um, general. What general does? It um, it it's a way of uh, ramping. At the moment, we've got per surf number of isoperms in 3D. Okay. I I actually like a different option. Okay. I like per span. So we go to per span of isoperms. Per span, per span of isoperms. So if we do that and tensilate it, let's go to quads. Take back to quads and tensilate it. This is a high def. Uh, this is as high def. It um, it actually splits this into three, as you can see. It sp uh, splits it into three. So that's uh, th this is good. This is as uh, close to the uh, this is uh, closest to uh, polygons. This is the closest uh, to uh, nerves. This, is a close, this polygon is as close to nerves as it can be. As you can see, you can't really tell the difference. Well, other than the color, you can't 
really tell that much of a difference you know it's like a twin as you can see so yeah that's how that's how this works so and again bear in mind that you can't you can't animate you can't animate this it's this um polygon you can't animate it so it depends what you're using it for now if we delete that by the way i use that quite a lot I use the uh, per span quite a lot, so you might uh, may, you might put a, a note into that one. So we've done um, general, we've done count, we've done standard fit. Standard, what standard fit is? Okay, let's do this. What standard fit is? Let's go to standard fit and tensilate it. So we've got our standard fit here. So as you can see, if we um, standard fit is to actually it it copies uh, exactly the like just the actual sense of the word standard fit. So what it does if we try to, if we um, sh shift select both of these, okay. If we shift select select both of these and do a direct comparison, you'll be able to see that the more curvy it is, the more um, polygons our copy is uh, putting in there. The more polygons it's applying. So if we um, if we put it like that, we have um, our nerves surfaces. Let's see where it's concentrated. This area here, this area here, you see the difference this is uh, self-explanatory as far as I'm concerned guys so if you are uh, yeah look at this and look at that there's more um, there's more concentration on here as compared to that because that one is um it's a nerve sphere so it's flexible you know it's flexible so it's uh, you can it doesn't need they don't need to put that many nerves on there to make it curvy so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much all, all the reason here that's pretty much all there is. Yep. So again, let's um, delete this one and go to modify and convert. So we've done um, we've done general, we've done standard, we've done count. Now uh, control point. Uh, let's do control point now guys so control point is more like standard feet again so yeah self-explanatory again so um, I just want you guys to know again that the that you can convert poly to um, you can convert nerves to polygons, yeah. So yeah, the um, so these are the tools for moving between different geometry types. They're found in in um, modify, convert, and uh, these tools here. We we'll go we will go through some of them as when we advance. But this is all you need to know for now because we're not we only need deep into this thing. So yeah, that's all you need to know. And guys, I know, I know. Just a motivation thing for you guys. I know um, sometimes when you're learning something and it's not as complex as you, you, because Maya, when you think Maya, you think Lord of the Rings, you think all these cool movies, you think Beowulf or stuff, those graphics. Yes, Maya can do that, and I can do that while teaching you how to do this. But it takes forever. It it doesn't take forever, but it will take longer. Let's say uh, this tutorial would take me like seven minutes or whatever. If I had to do that, it would take me another 20, 20, minutes, on, 20 minutes on top of that, maybe 27 minutes. And uh, I'm sure you don't have that much time to, you know, you, you want to learn this and take your time to do what you want to do. So I'm just um, doing simple things. We'll, we'll get to more complex things as soon as I finish the first part, the introduction. This is the introduction to my, so as soon as I finish the introduction, We'll, get, we'll go into more complex stuff. 